Do your feet ever get swollen at the end of a long day? Especially if you've been on your feet all day, your shoes get a little bit tight. Well, this swelling is quite common and yoga and legs up the wall in particular can help. I'm gonna explain to you why this is happening, but stick around to the end because I'll be guiding you through a legs up the wall routine that will make you feel better in less than 10 minutes. So you'll improve your circulation and feel decompressed and ready to wind down at the end of that long day. And if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and check out the links in the description. I have some great resources for you. Now, what you need to know about edema. Edema is basically the fancy word for swelling. And this swelling can have several causes. I mean, you can be swollen in your feet after you've sprained or strained your ankle or have an injury. But the most common cause is just really gravity, being upright all day. There are other causes that can encourage this leakiness of the vessels and encourage this swelling. So there's many reasons you could experience this swelling, but in the end, one of the best solutions is to flip upside down. If gravity is causing the pulling at the ankles and feet, then flipping upside down is only going to aid the return of the fluids back to your heart. Basically, to understand this, let me explain a little bit about the vessels. Arteries, the vessels that are moving blood away from your heart, to their target destination. They're carrying this oxygenated blood and it's very important they get to that destination. The vessels of arteries have thick muscular walls to squeeze and push the blood to its destination. However, veins, which return the blood back to the heart, they don't have those muscular walls. They have one-way valves that are there to help prevent backflow of the blood. The same for lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels, they have these one-way valves to prevent backflow. But the problem is when we're upright all day, cooling can occur. And when we flip upside down, we're actually allowing the fluids to push open the one-way valves so that you can return the fluids more efficiently back to your heart. So in essence, by going upside down, you are improving your circulation, but you don't have to do a headstand or anything like that. Actually, it's nice to do a relaxing, inclined version of bringing your legs up. You may have heard to just elevate your legs, which is great. You can put your legs up on some pillows and incline them, but a yoga pose, legs up the wall, can enhance this effect even more. You can also do somewhere in between the two by putting your legs up a chair. With legs up the wall, I'll show you how to do it. There's several different options. You can use a strap if you have it to help relax your legs a little more so you don't have to hold them together. You can use a pillow or folded blanket, which is what I'm gonna to use today, to elevate your hips a little more to enhance this effect. So basically we are going to sit on the wall and change our orientation to gravity. For this version of legs up the wall, what I'd suggest to have is either a folded blanket or pillow for under your head. And I'd suggest to have something for under your hips to elevate them a little bit. The idea is that we're bringing not only our legs above our heart, but our hips above our heart also to encourage that flow. So if you had a yoga block, you could use that. I like the softness of like a, a thicker pillow, like more like a couch cushion type pillow, but the pillow in your bed works too. I'd have that off to the side and you can play with that when we get to that point. You're gonna come up close to the wall and sit sideways to it. And then you come down to one forearm and back and swing your legs up. At this point, your hips might be really far from the wall. And actually, that's okay. You may wanna scooch closer to the wall 
that can help, but I'm gonna encourage you to not be right up against the wall because I want to have more of an incline and it's not as much about having a deep stretch. For some people that might be a little bit of a stretch. So once you get into this position, you can lift your hips up, this is the optional part, and put the pillow underneath and do any scooching you need to get comfortable, allowing the blanket to be under your head or pillow under your head. At this point, if you wanted to put the strap or something around your legs, you're welcome to do that. I just like to let my legs fall outward to where they naturally do. And then once you get there, you can close your eyes. Bring your hands to wherever they're comfortable. They can be lying next to your sides, palms up. It can be on your abdomen. Notice your breath. Can you begin to feel the sensations around your feet and ankles shifting just by simply letting them be, just by simply elevating them? Feel whatever is there. Maybe pulsating or vibration. Maybe sensations that you've been ignoring all day. Now feel your feet and legs in their entirety. What is it like to release muscles holding in your legs and just let them balance in this position with the bones stacked? And come to a place of allowing allowing gravity to do the work for you. Allowing your veins and lymph vessels to open their valves and to feel the flow. Can you feel a pulsation? A flow of release, a sense of relief, Now feel your breath moving you. Feel the sense of flow created from your breath, the rhythm of your breath. Now to enhance this flow, make your breath deeper, fuller, Feeling more expansion around your ribs and belly with the inhales. Deeper, fuller breaths. Deeper breaths can help improve your circulation. They can further encourage that flow of both blood and lymph. Feel the natural flow. Maybe you can even hear your breaths. And inquire within, what is it like to be more in flow with nature? What does it feel like to go with the flow? To allow without resistance. What does it feel like to be open to what is?
And what does it feel like to rest? Rejuvenate. Notice whatever is coming up for you. And simply taking some time to allow your body to get back into flow. To allow your body to heal itself in many ways. And taking a few moments to just be. Notice your breath once again. Make it a little deeper, a little longer, fuller. Feeling how more movement in your breath changes everything. And feel your legs and feet once again. Do they feel any different? Begin to gently move your toes. Move your ankles. Maybe pump your ankles up and down, which can also help facilitate this flow in your legs. As you're ready, slowly hug your knees in toward your chest and give yourself a hug. Taking your time to rock to your side Particularly, take your time to come up to standing. Taking it slow. And thank you so much for joining me.